So hopefully I'm not taking too long, but let's try to get through number two. So audience, this has anything to do with growing your audience. And on Twitter, that means your followers. Number one, leverage an existing, existing audience. If you have an email list, if you have a lot of Facebook fans, if you have uh, a lot of readers on your blog, RSS feed, uh, you want to drive people to the Twitter account, if that's new or if that's behind those other accounts, and get some of your audience into Twitter. Number two, calls to action on your blog or on your site. So if you're doing a new post or even a guest post is a great tactic for this you can put a call to action right in the text in a place where you know people will notice. Usually the beginning and the end works very well. Follow me on Twitter. Here's where you can find me on, on the internet. And I think in a previous Whiteboard Friday, maybe a couple weeks ago, Rand talked about strategically placing calls to actions for social media on your website. You should check that out. Number three, use Twitter embeds. So this would be your, if you put your timeline in that little widget into your web, website or that little button that says follow me, so it, it's not a link to your Twitter profile, but it's a direct follow right from your website, so people click on that. You should definitely leverage those Twitter embeds to, get, to start to grow your audience. Number four, tweet, what did I write there? Tweet from blog should, oh, okay. So a lot of people I see set up like WordPress sites or their blog, and the tweet button, when you want to tweet their post, it says like uh, at whatever the 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 plugin is. Uh, uh, what's the name of that plugin? Mention uh, share this. Yeah, I think it's share this. It says like blah 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 post link at, uh, by at share this, and that it's not helpful at all. It should say if it was me post link via at Dan underscore short. It should say my name in that tweet button when you go to tweet it. And I think that's one of those simple things a lot of people overlook. You should definitely do that. Number five, social profile. So I think this is just a, a basic, but I wanted to cover it. Uh, if you have Quora profile, Google Plus profile, and SEO Moz profile, uh, Facebook, please put your Twitter links onto those profiles just to have all those bases covered. Number six, discus comments. So if you're on a blog and they run discus, you can log in with Twitter. And if Twitter is a channel that you're really trying to grow, then you should log in to discus with Twitter and comment with that. And that's just another place that people can notice you, especially if it's a blog where there's a lot of discussion happening. Let's see, number seven, be responsive. Okay, so I think you know, this has to be done with some discretionary, uh, hi again, there's a tour going on here in the, in the Mozplex. Um, you want to be a little, uh, not picky, but a little judgmental about this. So be responsive to ads engage. So if somebody asks you a question or maybe says, hey, great post, thanks, blah, 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 you want to try to at least respond to some of those and show people that you're a human being, that you're a real person, that you're going to respond to what they've said to you and that's just part of maintaining your audience and obviously if you've just done a big post and like you get like 20 app mentions in an hour you're not going to respond to every single one of those so just put out a tweet to your whole uh, group of followers that says you know hey thanks for the mentions uh, sorry I can't respond to everyone I really appreciate it and I think that that kind of stuff can really go a long way number eight and I just ruined my tea uh, and now it's blue. Number eight, limit tweets. So think of this like the more you tweet, the value of those tweets each goes down. It's like a currency, like the more of it there is, the less meaningful it is. So this is something that I try to do and I notice a lot of people that are very successful on Twitter do is they, they limit their tweets. You know, I try to keep mine under like maybe 15 or 10 a day of like tweets that I'm not just chatting with somebody. Number nine, prep your profile just before lots of eyes see it. So, and there's an audience out here, so hi guys. Um, it's an unusual day here at the Mozplex apparently. Uh, prep your profile. So when I do a post that's gonna go on the SEO Moz blog, 
And I know a lot of people are going to see my Twitter profile like within that next day. The night before, I'll make sure to put like really cool, like very valuable stuff in my Twitter stream. So as people are coming to it the next day, they'd be more likely to follow me and think that that'd be worthwhile for them. Finally, number 10, I hope this isn't going too long. Number 10, use tools to prospect. Okay, so, you know, if you're trying to grow your audience and maybe find influencers, and I think a lot of people have talked about these tools, but I just wanted to mention it. So you can use Follower Wonk or this great tool called Mention Map, which actually shows you this cool map of like who talks to who, like if Mike King talks to like John Doherty a lot, like you'll see that on a map. So these are two great tools if you're trying to like grow your um, influencers that you want to reach out to, you can kind of like see that very quickly.